Hey guys, what's up? Captain Turbo here, and welcome to the finale of the Sonic the Hedgehog commentary for the Super LP Heroes. And joining me once again is Gold League Gamer One. Hello, everybody, and technically and this is not the finale of the Sonic trilogy. I never said it was. And Bloody Thunder X. How's it going, everybody? Yeah, so and we are now in Starlight Zone. So. Okay, so so he was just referring to Sonic One, not the yes. entire. Yeah. Okay. That we get it. that extra life has been haunting me for quite so long now. What do you mean? Okay, I thought for years I thought that extra light was unreachable. No, you just got to go so far down the ramp and then go back up. Yeah, I know I saw Slim Kirby do it, but I couldn't do it. Though. I know the Starlight Zone, but I know what that god-awful GBA port of this game, those, like, stairs that go up, if you're in the wrong spot, it can actually kill you. Yeah, you, you, uh, the GBA plus is absolutely horrendous. Sega should be ashamed of themselves for that one. I know there are a few other ports. I know there's the Master System port and the Game Gear port. Have you played no, it? The, the Master System is completely on game. It's not It's not the same game. The port's the exact game ported over to a different console. Sonic 1 for the Master System is something different entirely. Oh, yeah. so it's just like comparing Genesis and SNES Aladdin in a way. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. And if you want to see what they look like, go check it out on my channel, I did an Nokia booth. Shameless self-promotion! Plugging! Yep. And unfortunately, Starlight Zone is pretty quick to get through, even if you're not trying to speedrun it, so... And Final Chaos Emerald. I well, love Huzzah! Because that yep. six remember in this game, not seven. Yep. Six, or the best ending. <coughs> And this one is ridiculously easy, to be honest. I know I'm making it look a little bit harder than it has any right to be, but it's really a bit too easy for the final one. Mm hmm. Why did they make it so easy then? I have no idea. I think the fourth and the fifth one are harder to get than this one. Well, isn't the special stage the same as always? We caught and, them all. Well, the basic idea, but very different uh, layouts for the. Um, I got them all. Mm. Let's start at two. Anyways, last processing. Yeah. Too fast. Remember, remember blast processing. Yeah. Remember that marketing scheme. No, because we didn't have- I don't remember those adverts taking place here. Oh, that's a shame. I've seen them on YouTube, but I don't think they ever came up uh, when I was a kid, so... Yeah. Yeah, Blast Processing was a, was a marketing ploy they did to try which, to get people. Which didn't exist. Nope. It was just their- It was just their turn because their games were fast-paced. <laughs> and here is actually me five in a row. Who would have guessed? Well, I don't know. Anybody who can actually see the screen and see that there's five of them. Yep, and that's the level. I'm not trying to speedrun it and still do it in a minute. Yep, and since, and since Turbo got all the Chaos Emeralds, you notice that the giant ring does not appear. Correct. The giant ring had died. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, Scrap Rain 1, that's the last one you can try the special stage on. Uh, that's correct. Uh-huh. That is correct. Which is why I said, um, I use save states because you only have a limited amount of attempts. Let's see, mm -hmm. well, let's see if I count it. It's 2 times 5, 10. Plus, uh, one, so 11. I have 11 chances. Yeah, something, something like that. Yeah, um, I guess. I don't know for sure. I don't, I'm not really in the mood to do math today. <laughs> You're not in school, you don't need to do math. Yeah, well, well, a lot of people aren't good at mental math. I'm not bad at it, I just got me asked to do it today. <laughs> I've only been up for about an hour, so of course He's I'm not gonna... Excuse. Yeah, of course. Uh, excuse me. I'm just glad when I was in school, I never had math as the first class in the morning. Oh, I did. It was horrendous. Oh, God. What? 
basically for me, it's like I, I did the, the three. I did like the mandatory years in high school. I had to do for high school, and then well, I think it was the last year I didn't. I was I didn't have to do it. And I was like, okay, that's enough math for me. That was the same way with geographer. Yeah, uh, this boss is kind of unique. You, uh, you can use the um, spy balls to hit, and you don't have to rely on Sonic alone. So. Oh. As you can see, you can get double hits if you're good enough, but I'm not good enough to do it. And you're supposed to be the fast Sonic guy. I am definitely the fast Sonic guy on this channel, buddy. Right. And, and not with this one stage. <laughs> I'm kind of fucking really bad at this point. <laughs> there is a, there is a very easy part, and I just kind of screwed this up. <sighs> Me. Yeah, yeah, this are binding quite is easy enough. I will really agree with that. There we go. He is done. And, and Starlight's done. Sonic <sighs> has passed. Hey, what? Sonic has passed Act 3. God, I'm still not awake apparently. And scrap brain time. Which was absolutely painful to watch during the race because both Gold and I can't remember who else got stuck in their place. No, I think I was right. You both got stuck in the exact same place. Like what, in that little area? I I don't think I'd show it off, but ugh, god that was painful to watch. You're ruining my childhood, man. Uh, I, I was... <laughs> oh. Oh, is that in the uh, best of video from Race of Love? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, it's, it seems pretty hard to get out. Yeah, it, it's not easy, but you've got to be patient with it, and I got very lucky there. You did. Yeah, Scrap Brain is definitely a uh, difficult to spike in the game. It's got so much crap coming at you that's trying to kill you, especially the second stage. It's almost as if the, the background in this in this uh, zone is presented in sepia tone. <laughs> almost. And I keep screwing up this jump here. I don't actually know if I end up going for it. No, I don't. You were just like, can't have this shit. Nope. <clears throat> I'm not interested. I wanted to just get on with the level. Mm -hmm. And trying to avoid these pistons. Best idea is to go just roll into a ball and let these slopes slide you down. Mm -hmm. It's probably why it was sloped for a reason. Yeah, but I actually see quite a few people trying to just run down it and get crushed by accident, and that's in the block. Yep. And that was defeated in one minute and fifty seconds. <laughs> yeah, I believe it's the next act that uh, that we, we see that spot that Turbo was talking about a few minutes ago. Uh, it might be. I can't remember which level it's in. As I said, I can't. Remember. I don't think I've ever fell down it myself. So, and I do go for the top route here. So, going around the going around the circle. Running on the earth. Is it to propel myself up to the top? Going, yes, actually, sir. going around the world 81 hundredths of a second. I have no idea what game reference here. It's it's a it, it's a reference to. Oh wait a minute! I'm getting a lot of flock in the trope page for explaining callbacks every single time, so I'm perfect. <laughs> yes, I'm actually asking what the trope is that year. If we're uh, asking what it, if you're, if we're asking what you're referencing, that's not a bad thing. It's yeah. okay. What, 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 it's a reference to to a, to a movie title called Around the World in 80 Days. I've heard of it. I've never seen it. Same here. Yeah, yeah I recently think. Sorry, Karim. Yeah, it's like if someone asks you for about what's that referencing gold, that's fine. It's, people pro usually expect that. But it's just when you're bringing up references or callbacks to something else, and people just didn't even ask about it. It just kind of, it kind of comes like under the. It's kind of like a right wing, like why did you need to reference that kind of thing? Well, now I just lost my train of thought. 
Okay, so apparently could Nintendo Capri Suns in the call. Apparently. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I was gonna say earlier as well, the reason I took the uh, high path at the beginning of the level is I just find the high path to be a lot easier than the bottom one. Mm -hmm. And no, I don't. I think I end up losing all my rings and, and my phone's ringing, damn it. That's okay, we'll carry on. Tell your phone you're too busy with an important meeting. <laughs> so I'll be back in the thing. Um, oh, Turbo. Okay, he well, was a man. Okay, well, while he's answering like his phone. Hedgehogs. Okay, and, and as you can see, that. Turbo is just meat acting. Indeed. At least for at least this time we're actually still on two. And this cutscene is the primary reason like why you don't get a chance to touch the thing. Pretty much. And Act Three, which has that infamous shortcut. The shortcut to end all shortcuts. Let's just hope you're looking at your Zach before this this video is over. He probably will, though. Yeah. Really? At least we can only pray. And, and hope. And squander. And wonder where his life has gone. Uh, it's been too long since I played the first Sonic. I need, I need to properly go back and play the original trilogy again, because after Sonic 3, I was like, you know, I think my years of not playing the game has hurt me quite a bit. And but, Final oh, Zone! You know, the zone that everybody actually remembers. Because it's the last one! It is the Final Zone. Imagine if it was imagine if it was the final zone and when you entered the level it would start playing the final countdown. Ah, uh, by Europe. Yes. I'm back, sorry. You're just in time for the final zone. Ah, the grand finale. Yeah, and we saw you take the infamous shortcut. Yeah, right. but... I can't. Was... Oh sorry. It's alright, I actually lost my train of thought anyway. <laughs> Me not yeah. good with the word in the memorization. No. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying earlier too, um, that, uh, you, you know what they should have done for the final zone? Instead of just playing the, the music we hear, they should have just played the final countdown. That would um, be kind of cool. Yeah, well, the problem is, it's a copyrighted song, so. I think he's joking, Go. Well, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm doing, is joking. Yeah, this is actually a really easy boss. Yeah, you just don't you just don't go on one of the things and you're good. Well, as, uh, as, long, well, as long as those uh, energy balls don't hit you, yeah. Well, it's, the best thing to do is run right over to the left or the right, wait a few seconds, and then start walking towards the other side. As you keep see, as you keep seeing that, I, I did so. Indeed. There's usually a big enough gap as well to jump between them if you need to. Oh, and there's another no dice. And that's the end of it. Okay. And Robotnik died a horrible to. Oh wait, never mind. No. No, uh, he escaped. You don't actually have to hit him there, but you know you can and I do, so you know, screw Eggman. God damn And this is the ending man. you get for all the emeralds. It's really not worth it. Nope. Sonic throws them into the into the air, and the flowers grow. Whoop de doo. That's that's the ending. Yeah, that's the great ending that you get for going through all the trouble of getting chaos emeralds. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I all night. Well, I meant I was applauding the ending. Oh, gee, thanks. Uh, you're welcome. I, I've never seen that ending. Oh, wait, no. I, well, even if I did, I probably would not remember it. I think that's why with the later Sonic titles, they gave the Chaos Emeralds more purpose. 
you get obviously from here on out, if you ever get all the emeralds, you get supersonic, which is a much better uh, reward. It's a much better payoff. Yeah. And here we see someone not playing as competently as I did. <laughs> just, just someone just pressing some buttons. Or just showing off. Scrub. What a dumb. Uh, but I. Well, I don't think all the level designs and all that are great. I still think it's a fun enough title to just uh, pick up and play. It's held up. It's. I think it's held up well over time. Not as well as the two sequels, but yeah. it's still a fun enough game. It, it is the... <coughs> and Thunder's dead, so we're going to try and get someone else in the call. It is the first game, so I expected yeah. um, some things like that. And no, I am not dead. I don't die that easy. <laughs> yeah, you really had a bad one with that, didn't you? Yeah. I was saying that when you were not here, my years of not playing these games really hurt my experience. Uh, that's why you should always practice before. Special race. thanks, Papa. <laughs> okay. And sadly, the credits are nearly done as well. Uh, yeah, they uh, are. Not, not yet, they're not. Presented by done. Sega. And the end is getting abused by Eggman slash Robotnik. 